In this video, we'll discuss some basic terms that we use in statistics, that is, individuals and variables. To begin with, let's read the first question. We need to find the average lifespan of all bees. So we take a sample of bees and record the lifespan, and the unit of measurement is days. So our data might look something like this. The serial number in the first column, so that's B number 1, B number 2, B number 3, etc. And the lifespan measured in days in the second column. So for each B, we measure the lifespan. The lifespan of a B might vary from one B to another. So the lifespan is the variable in this problem. So the quantities in the second column describe bees. So the individual in this problem is the bee, or the individuals are bees, and the variable is the lifespan of a bee. And it's always important to, measure, uh, to mention the units of measurement, which is days in this case. In the second problem, the research study is about sleep habits of people in a certain age group. So the people are in the age group 30 to 40 years. So people between the ages of 30 and 40 are the individuals in this study. Each participant fills out a form and provides the following information, so that's gender, social security number, hours of sleep, amount of time spent watching TV, and whether they exercise or not. Let's look at the first uh, piece of information that they're going to fill out, gender. Gender is female or male. This is not a quantity or a measurement. It's not a numerical value that is a measurement. So it is still a variable because uh, gender differs from one individual to another, possibly. So it is not a quantity, so it's a non-quantitative variable. So that's called a categorical variable. Social security number. It is a number, but it's not a measurement. So if it's not a measurement, a number can just replace a name. It's as good as a name, which is a categorical variable. So we can think of social security numbers as categorical variables. Hours of sleep. Now, hours of sleep, it could be 2 hours, 2.5 hours, so this is a measurement. It is a quantity that is also a measurement. It's a numerical value that is a measurement. So this would be a quantitative variable. The amount of time watching TV is again a measurement of time. So that would again be a quantitative variable. So when the next question is exercised or not, the answer could be, yes or no. So that is not a quantity, it is not a measurement, so this would be a categorical variable. So in short, there are two types of variables, categorical and quantitative. A variable is called a quantitative variable if it is a measurement, if it's measuring something. It is called a categorical variable if it is non-quantitative. The serial problem. Now let's look at this table. The first column is brand names of serial. And the next four columns describe some characteristic of each uh, serial brand that is manufacturer, hot or cold, calories, sugars, and fibers. 
The individuals in this data set are all the brand names. For each individual, the variables are manufacturer, hot or cold, is the cereal eaten hot or cold, the number of calories per serving, the number of uh, or the amount of sugar per serving, and the amount of fiber per serving. Each one of these is a variable. But as we've seen, a variable can be quantitative or categorical. Let's look at the first variable, that is the manufacturer. That is not a measurement, so that would be categorical. Is the cereal eaten hot or cold? That again is not a measurement, so it is a categorical variable. The, um, the number of calories per serving is a measurement or a quantity. So that would be a quantitative variable. The amount of sugars per serving is again a measurement, usually in grams or milligrams. So that would be a quantitative variable. The amount of fiber in a serving of cereal would again be a quantity or a measurement because it's given in grams or milligrams. So in this video, the important things uh, that we need to remember are the three terms, individuals, categorical variables, and quantitative variables.